Yar, there's treasure afoot, or a, a peg leg. There's treasure a peg. No, I don't like that. Damn you, modern society, ruining the pirate lifestyle for the rest of us. Back in Bucko's day, bite the pillow, catfish chef. You're getting a new peg meant something very different. We're bringing the whole crew for this one because this is the final thing we need before we get ourselves a new piece of treasure. And with that, some easier conversions. What the hell is going on here? Ugh, keep your distance, crew. It's a treasure rhino. Oh, oh, don't worry, Master Cringe. It's just a few bodies. Oh, this poor boy. This is why he's been off doing the trading. He's not cut out for this. All right, you know what? Let's swap him out. Swap him out. Sire, you've got the heart for a, an enormous pile of corpses. And I mean, shit, forget about this treasure. Look at all the... Ah! Uh! Okay. Hold on a second. Forget about the treasure treasure for the reliquary. Look at all of these treasure chests we've got lying around. Master Cringe, me boy. Send him to hell. Boom. Get blasted. That did absolutely nothing. No, it did a lot. Oh my God, it drove three of them insane. If you don't think the Master Cringe has had his redemption art by now... I don't know what to tell you. This boy is is one of our best crewmates. Maybe our best crewmate outside of Bucko and Sire and Butch. And to be fair, I mean, Yeti is doing some incredible work with that with that building skill. Oh, there was an ancient. Hello, how are you doing? Oh, it's a bad day to be you, my friend. <laughs> Gold. Golden treasure chests. Oh, we're off to a great priority start today, aren't we? Bloody Queensman. What was this, a trap? Did they know we were here? The red coats! I was about to say, treasure per seconds of video. We are doing incredible work. Skill anchor for brawling. Um, grab that, get out. Just grab it and get out. We don't need to fight these people. Sire, crack that one open, and maybe we can just run away without fighting all these red coats. Bucko drink doesn't... What is that? Devil fruit for solar pinhole. Pick them up. Get out. Pick them up, get out. Come on. Go, 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 go. Okay, run! Run! Back to the ship! No retreat, just our tactical treasure safety run. <gasps> Butch! Butch, Butch, Butch. What happened? What happened? She's been enthralled? Shit. There was a bloody charm weaver. Where is that charm weaver? You need to die. God damn you. Oh, this was supposed to be a quick run. Bucko. No man left behind. Sire, turn around. If we kill you, does it wear off? Well, we're going to find out. It needs to. It needs to wear off. We can't lose her. Go. Get him. Get him. Kill him dead. Kill him dead. Cave him in. Ah! Uh! Okay, nice. No, finish him off. Finish him off. No, no respect for red coats. No mercy. Boom. Butcher's back. Hey, that easy. Okay, come back. Come back to us. We don't want to fight this many people. This is too many people for uh, two people to fight. But you know what? I don't think they've given us much of a choice if they're going to kidnap my people like that. Teach him a lesson. Bucko Drink never runs. I would never even suggest he would run away. It is a disaster. We were supposed to get in, get the treasure, get out. <gasps> you tried to execute Admiral Bucko. You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Where's Butch? Butch, 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 get up here. Bring that hammer. Oh, Christ, please. Please just try and keep one alive. Hold on. Let's send you down and we'll try and get some blunt damage maybe going on you. Here comes Butch. Actually, we can't kidnap them. We're in a, we're in a borrowed ship. This is someone else's vessel after all. And with that shit out the way, quest complete. And I think we've got ourselves a relic. It was right there all along. Right under our nose. Kind of hard to miss the relic complex when it's 90% of the bloody island, but never mind. Careful. Careful. Not the flames again. Always the flames. Always the bloody flames. Watch out with that cannon, bucko. Bucko doesn't use doors. Give me your treasure. And kapow. Another piece of treasure. And absolutely no one got injured in the process. <laughs> you okay? What happened, huh? Just a lot of fire. A lot of fire and a lot of... A lot more fire. Ignore the fact that Butch almost died again. Butch is always almost gonna die until we get some sort of... Uh, I guess... Re regeneration cycle? I suppose we could. Another day, another piratey relic for Bucko's treasure trove. Mood bonus rituals in room is two... If we have, say, all 18 relics, will that give plus 18 mood? <laughs> to be fair, if we get 18 relics, I think we deserve 18 mood. And a growth moment for Bongwater. Hello, sweet baby Bongwater. How are you doing? Shooting! A double passion in... Jesus Christ. 25 healing. Skill level 25 transcended. Yeah, no shit. What have we got? Neat. Neat is really good for a medical character. They don't make any dirt whatsoever. Cold inclined explosive rebel squeamish. I think we'll take Neat. Oh my god, I asked for a doctor and the world has provided. And she loves fish. What a good pirate. Oh, of course, the reason I wanted to go and blast out that relic super quickly is because we've got a prison full of people. We're very, very close to winning over the Forsaken faction, if I'm not mistaken. A couple more conversions there and we've got it sorted. These are from the Cursed Crew. My only concern is we're making allies with them, right? Because we're converting them, we're releasing them, and then they're, they're, they're happy that we've let so many people go. 
that we've actually, I think, became neutral with the Waster Pirates. In fact, someone pointed out in the comments that when the space drone dropped and we were going to hack it, these were the people that were going to raid us, but because we became neutral, they stopped turning up. Oh my god. So you remember when I put out that bounty for 5,000 to capture this person? I don't think they took the payment for it because they got into a firefight on the way into the island. I think we got them for free. That's a goddamn pirate victory right there. Holy crap. Are you telling me we stole this person from the people that stole this person? Amazing. I mean, I did it on purpose. I wonder if we can find another person good at mining too, because now we can afford to pay for a second person. <laughs> Bucko's fine with kidnapping people and putting them in his crew, okay? We're just, we've just got that emancipation because that doesn't inspire loyalty, huh? You can't just have a, a group of slaves hanging around. That's not how pirates do things. Maybe they took the silver and it's just our other ventures paying out for us. Our casino that, that turned nothing. Or our pirate movie service. I made me fortune selling pirate Disney DVDs. If we go off and kill 10 people controlled by the sea serpents, maybe even capture them and bring them back to 50 gods of medicine, three advanced servers, and a very, very fancy devil fruit. Not entirely sure what we would do in mystic bonding, but... What do you think? Give it a yeti? I'm not sure. We'll figure it out. Either way, big fan of these. Anything that makes money for free is, of course, going to be a pirate's friend. Goddamn, we could do with some high-tech research blueprints, couldn't we? I don't think you can get ultra-tech blueprints, but you can definitely get the spacer stuff. Take off that nuclear reactor, otherwise we're going to be here forever. Do these are like the type of people that would be able to invent nuclear fission? Skill anchor, two skill anchors for shooting there. Skill anchor for crafting, skill anchor for healing. Oh no, I've got to do it though, haven't I? You know I've got to do it. <laughs> go, go little baby bong water. Just go all in. I want to see 28.53. How high does this go? How high does this go? Not high enough as far as I'm concerned. Boom. 30 healing at the age of 10. Crafting st skill anchors, we could give to Yeetmore so that Yeetmore actually has something useful to do around the colony. Right now it's Saya's job and she's got enough on her plate. Kapow, invest in your people. Invest in your crew. Look at that, I'm really happy with that. Actually, let's swap you over then. Actually, you might be our best crafter now. Uh, you're very, very close. What are they, same level? They're the same level. It makes no difference then. Fine, fine. Okay, there you go, Yeetmore. Finally, you've got a job in the colony, my friend. Congrats. And then the skill anchors for shooting we give to Tide Bubble. Because Tide Bubble was our doctor, but has been somewhat outclassed by Bongwater at this point. So instead of healing, you kill. Up to level 14, up to level 16. That seems pretty good. I'll take that. That plus the piratey anti-material rifle. You're going to be unstoppable. I've never been so invested in a crew. They're all so good. Like, if any of them died now, it would genuinely be very upsetting. Because they're all very, very good. Which is kind of exactly what I wanted from our pirate crew by restricting the passions and by having them forget the skills that they're not passionate about. It's worked out so well because we've got one person good at uh, an insane, uh, like, like insanely skilled in one particular thing. I mean, the downside is, yes, if someone dies, we're fucked, but we'll cross it early when we get there. Everybody's fit for battle, right? You've got cataphract and scout armor. You've got marine armor and cataphract. Master Cringe, you can stay here, my friend. You stay here. Look after the base. We're going to send these five to go and see if we can take out that outpost. It's 10 versus five. I think we can handle that. Salty could really do with some uh, some skill fruits in shooting and brawling, I think. Listen, we don't need any more melee characters. Two is already too many when you've got a madman with a cannon. God, I wish we could do broadsides. I mean, Bucko Drink is a living broadside, so you know what? I can make this work. Watch this shit. Kapow. Broadside him. No, no like... Yeah, there you go. Broadside him, Bucko. Oh, it's so good. Oh, my friend. With that weapon, you are going to be unstoppable. Saya, let's kill that one. Butch, let's go in and cave in Moosehead over there. You can shoot these people because they've got a good chance of hitting more than just those people, including, ah, uh, maybe our people if we're not careful. Maybe our people too. Ah, uh, shoot, shoot, shoot that person. Shoot them. You come forward. Help me out here. Eat more. Why would he eat more? Left middle toe. Okay, I'm not so upset about that. I'll be honest with you. Get back. Get back, Ebo. Get back. Your skill is in yeeting. Yeeting more, in fact. Bring him down. Look at you go. Look at you go, sweet boy. And then the second they get close, kapow. You will never get this. Payment arrived? Oh, because they're already fleeing. Oh, you cowards. Oh, you absolute cowards. I'm going to kidnap so many people. Mark my words. I'm kidnapping so many of these damn people. A 15 conditioning 20. Bleeding out in 23 hours. 6 conditioning 10. 3. Bleeding out in 6... Because they've got the crypto armor, so it's so easy to get prisoners. Oh, shit. Have we got anything else, or are we just are we just done here? Whoa. Mechanical sword, excellent. Metal lance, good. Metal sayax, masterwork. Metal skull crusher. 
masterwork. And if we just reform that the old fashioned way instead of just sailing off the map. Oh shit. Oh, this is so good. <laughs> Look at all this loot. Oh, forget the server. This is paid for itself. We got a madness plate. We got all of these good weapons. Some even masterwork. Maybe given that we're about to overflow this prison, let's make the food somewhat more convenient. Poor Master Cringe is going to be non-stop running back and forth otherwise. Is that Ronald McDonald? <laughs> Hello. The right color scheme for it. Long water reach level 31 in healing. You're unstoppable. This is this is terrifying. You're you're too good at medical. What the hell do you mean new soulmates? Catfish chef and salty. Oh, that's nice. Uh, two chefs together. Again, catfish chef was just called that. It was a fake. They they mock his cooking skill because he's so bad, but she makes up for it. Like the missing puzzle piece in his life. That's so wholesome. That's so goddamn wholesome. I mean, it's, uh, we've, we've got like a tremendous amount of spare buildings now. I'm going to have to start renting these out to guests, aren't I? Hold on. Let's, let's deal with that quickly. Naoko, thanks you for letting her and others venerate the Black Pearl. They've sent us a vigor augment. Oh, thank you. Let's send them a gift and it sinks right to the bottom of the fucking ocean. Thank you for that. You shouldn't have. Ooh, more plunder. We're going to need a new server act to throw in those advanced servers. Higher quality. These are going to be 4K Blu-ray counterfeits this time. You'll never stop us, you mouse bastard. Army prisoners got ejected. What the hell? Hey, you get back in this ship. Or oh, I suppose get back into prison. Start, start capturing them. Start capturing them. Whoa, 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 whoa. Good oh, luck, Master Cringe, because my God, you're going to need it. We've got one more freed up. There you go. This is a prison break waiting to happen. This is a prison. Uh, yeah, release. Yeah, goodbye. Maybe... More turrets? Maybe a couple more turrets? It couldn't hurt. Maybe just like one or two more turrets. There you go. It's another one converted. Actually, it wasn't terrible timing. It wasn't terrible, terrible timing because a lot of them are basically finished as the new ones have come in here. Jesus, good, good, good luck finding anybody. There you are. There you are. There you are. You can go now. Thank you. Six out of 15 with the cursed crew. I worry we're going to end up in the same situation. We're going to ally to them. Then we're not going to be able to get any more unless we actually go out there and, and kidnap them. Right? There's another one. Oh, my God. Actually, this was great timing. You know what? I take back everything I've said. This has been pretty perfect timing. Wait, hold on. Are any of them good at mining before I send them off? Ah, uh, no. 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 <laughs> Anybody? Anybody here ever heard of a mine before? Every single one of them. The highest skill out of these eight prisoners, nine, ten prisoners, is for mining. This is ridiculous. Obviously, except for the guy that I specifically hunted down and kidnapped. Other than that, ridiculous. Another one. Get out. Get out of my prison. Go. Oh, shit. Because you're no longer hostile with the cursed crew, hidden treasures is no longer available. There, we've, we've, we've won them over. Oh, my God. Everybody is softening. To Pirate Captain Bucko, Lord Pirate Captain Bucko, drink. Neutral with the Curse Crew and the Forsaken. Oh, my God. I said we were going to go for the Privateers first, and they're going to end up being last at this rate. Because we've got a prison full of the Sea Serpents. And hold on, hold on, hold on. Before I forget anymore, you lot are going to have to go sailing for a little while. Not because I've forgotten to go sailing or anything like that. No, no. Because we have a shitload of bricks sat in Cat's butt that I need to go and extract. Realistically, how much can I take? Because if I take all 4,000, we're going to end up over in combat, aren't we? Let's take that much. How are we looking? 1,350. Okay, so we can we can almost take all of them then. Hold on. And now, at long last, episode whatever we're on, 412, I can build some solid brick walls. That's right. Probably not the entire base, but I'll certainly, certainly give it an honest go here and see what we can replace. Three out of 13 of the sea serpents. That took no time at all to tidy up. Look at that. Goodbye, little prisoner. And that is another sea serpent, I think. Jesus. These relics alone have sped things up. Oh, I mean the relics and the enormous amount of colony wealth. Tremendous. 485,000. Just shy of 500,000 there. Six out of 15 of the sea servants. Who's doing this cooking? Butch's jobs must have reset when she was enthralled. Oh, well, she's not even cooking anyway. So who is cooking? Salty, what the fuck are you doing? I also had just, just occurred to me that the chef is called Salty. I'm sorry I didn't piece that together before. Look at the moods, though. My God. Are you telling me the landing pad broke down so you decided to land right next to the market? What's wrong with you? Ooh. Keen reflexes. What does keen reflexes do? Hold on. Uh, lets you dodge most incoming hits, even from a distance. What the hell? Gives you deep green skin, though. Or oh, multi-pregnancy. Finally, the bucko fruit that we needed. <laughs> <laughs> I would have made one piece a very different story, huh? Never sleep is actually super, super useful. Oh my god, that one's amazing. Metabolic efficiency minus six, but honestly, that's fine. You could just spend that time planting more crops. 
I could deal with that. Two skill anchors in chatting. I'm taking those. That This isn't up for debate. Some of these are really good, though. There was uh, great creation fruit. We give that to our brand new crafter. That would work really, really nicely. Could definitely do so. That's, uh, it was uh, Chef, right? Chef became the crafter. Uh, I do like the idea of those keen reflexes. We'll buy that and see how that goes. There was also clotting, super clotting. Look, I think we should probably start using these, right? If I sit here and wait for the perfect ones, we could be here forever. 13,000 silver? Is that from the bloody servers? Probably the servers and the guests turning up, buying the beds for multiple days. They have to spend 20 silver a night just to sleep in one of the beds. Oh my god. Bucko, drink me, lad. Oh, I need to keep a closer eye on that. Let's, let's leave that popped open all the time so we can track it. And I mean, of course, the ship's buying fuel. Lifetime silver sales. That one's made 300 gold. It's not massive, of course. 329 gold. That's made 1,400 gold. Holy shit. And of course, you got the servers. I built another one so that we can store the advanced servers, too. Let's get Sire on that. We might not have the power grid for it. Sorry. That's, uh... It's yeet more, yeet more, not chef. Realistically, probably going to need another title generator. Let's try and put it somewhere that isn't going to interrupt things too much. Right there. Just makes perfect sense. Matches the land kind of nicely. I love that we have thousands of those blackstone bricks, and it, it barely put a dent in it. It's probably like 50% of maybe the walls that I wanted to replace. That's okay. Well, I think we've converted our last... Hello? We've converted our last person then, huh? We're just waiting on actually recruiting Laurent. Be gone. Tell your sea serpent friends about the wealth and riches of Bucko Drink. 7 out of 15. We've turned them neutral as well. Oh, God. And that was it. That's all it took. Ah! Yeti, you son of a bitch. Are you telling me I spent all that time converting them and then they just immediately flip back? Oh. I'm reminded why I don't play with the splits and schisms mod. That's going back in the bin. That's going back in the bin. <laughs> I love the idea in theory, and then every time I play with it, it makes absolutely no sense. What is this ideology anyway? Pirate life, nauticals, nomad. Honestly, again, it makes sense. Sailing party, it's fun. It's just how it splits is always so bizarre. Oh, oh, those are words I maybe don't actually like to see in hindsight. Prototype nuclear reactor. What do we build this? Ah. Uh... On this bit of land down here. Somewhere where if things go wrong and it explodes, it's not my problem. Or, I mean, it is my problem, but it's far enough away that we can probably just ignore it. Now, having dropped off my very good friend, the Savage, we can get ourselves 859 treasure every however many days it takes to do that. He's not actually in the boat. That's just a ghost. That's, that's, a, that's a ghost man up there. Okay, okay. Brief bees update i'm not going to talk about the bees too long okay you take your temperate queen and your, 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 your temperate bee and your mild bee right you breed those together until you get a hybrid bee then you breed the hybrid bee with any of the other two and then you get an amalgam bee and then you breed the amalgam bee and the hybrid bee and that in theory will give you i put them here somewhere hold on oh in this one uh that will give you uh alloy bees then you breed your alloy bees with your amalgam bees and that gives you gold bees Ah, oh, Mr. Cringe, I presume he spent all of Bucko's plunder. Oh, God. I mean, he's bought back treasure and a lot of treasure chests, so it's for a good cause, okay? And I suppose the steel for the nuclear reactor doesn't hurt. Pirate nuclear. Look at this. This is going to be amazing. It's just occurred to me I haven't researched batteries. The batteries that we've got, we've stolen. Uh, if I even have any batteries, I'll install them somewhere. God knows where they've ended up. One day we'll get solid gold Bucko drink, but it's not going to be today. Jar of lightning. There you go. Oh, they're in the server room. Right, right, right. Okay, and in theory, we could just get Butch to reverse engineer what we've got. There you go. Perfect. No, 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 no. What are you doing? What are you doing? No, 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 no. Come back here. Yes, pirate nuclear. Yes. Boom. Oh, hopefully not boom. Oh, that looks dangerous. I'm so about this life. And then we've got our batteries, too. No pirate batteries, I'm afraid. Don't be, don't be ridiculous. Oh, wait. The large batteries and the small batteries have... have... Wait, what? Not regular batteries? Maybe it's because it's still a prototype. Who knows? Here, let's build some of these instead then. That seems fine. Wonder if batteries in the base game aren't stylable. How bizarre. Okay, well, that's cool. At least we get some other types of pirate batteries. Oh my god. Master Cringe randomly converted Tide Bubble. Tide Bubble was one of the very few that, that I was happy not to directly try and convert over. Given that he saved Bucko's life, after all. But I mean, over time, he's just seen how, how rich and how powerful and how lovely this base is. And he's decided, you know what, Bucko? This is the way. That's it. That's, that's, that's the breakthrough. Build mechanical body parts to replace lost limbs and eyes. That's the breakthrough. Now we need a way to get a little more gold. So what better than panning for gold? 
Doesn't really make any sense. Isn't that the sea I hear you all saying? Yes, it is. It's a sea filled with gold because there are so many pirates and so many ships getting sunk to the bottom of it that there's it's just it's just packed with gold. Okay, or something like that. You think you know better than Bucko Drink now? I doubt that. Look at this shit. Look at him go. Little Rocketeer Yeetmore making gold. It's another gold avenue for Bucko Drink. This is this is silly. <laughs> this is very silly. Uh, Stachius, could you get out of my freaking fountain? What the hell do you think you're doing over here? Well, I was going to see if anybody had anything to trade. Maybe more gold. But I don't think anybody has anything to trade here, right? This is one of the children. Hello? Why are you here? What, you just here to visit? Oh, there you are. Hello. Sorry. I haven't got any gold, but maybe they'd like some rum. Given that our suspicious rum production has gone up enormously. For some suspicious reason. Wait. And of course, cat's butt. How can I forget about cat's butt? How are we looking? Have you got any yet? 1,200 treasure. Oh my god. <laughs> Master Cringe, hoist the anchor. Bucko has to see this with his own fair eye. He wants putting that crafting skill to good use. Oh, it counts as mining? Oh. <laughs> Honestly, it's probably faster to ship them off to Cat's butt than it is to have them here digging it up from that machine. That's all right. Oh, hello. Welcome to the casino. What do you think? You want to play on one of my, uh, one of my fruit machines? Please play on one of my fruit machines. I'd have made more money from selling the fucking things than I would have... Oh, God, actually installing them. This is pathetic. Oh, this is terrible. There is something incredibly important that I've missed out up until this point, and that is enormous bars of gold. Let's get this vault in a working state because I have a lot of wealth to stash away at this point. Who do we want to eat some of these fruit before they all go off? Because they have to be in a chest, otherwise it starts to deteriorate, right? So this is the one that gives them quick reflexes. It's got to be someone combative. I think it's got to be Tide Bubble because they haven't really got anything to shine through and do right now that their healing job's been totally superseded. 32.28 skill. Oh my god. So you know what? I'm going to turn you into a combat mermaid. Because that's a pair of words that every pirate ship needs. <laughs> and kapow. Oh, <laughs> you're so green. Oh no. Well, on the plus side, that is... We'll have to see how um, how effective that is in combat. That's an additional 20% chance to melee dodge chance. Ignoring the usual 50% dodge cap. Oh my god. 75% of the melee dodge chance is applied to the range dodge chance. Holy shit. And there you are, counts as a devil fruit eater now. Super clotting fruit, that's pretty important. What about butch? Butchers come close to death far too many times. You're a hussar though. You don't already have something like that. You've got unstoppable. Unstoppable super fast wound healing and super clotting seems like a nice combo. Given that Butch is more likely to die to the reduced pain, means you keep fighting for longer. I think that is a good fruit for you. Eat up. Enjoy. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> okay, I'm not doing that every time. So tasty and delicious and very good art too. Well, great job. Super clotting. There we are. You didn't already have that, right? I'm not going mad. You, you didn't already have that? I don't think she already had that. Bleeding wounds close very quickly. Bucko said it before and he'll say it again. The more valuable thing than an enormous pile of treasure is nothing. But second to that is a powerful crew to serve him. Not just to serve him, of course, but to, but to help him acquire the treasure in the first place. So you know what? Let's expend a little treasure here. We've got skill anchors in thinking. I haven't gone around buying all of these. This is what we've been getting Mr. Cringe to trade for every time they've popped up. Honestly, why not? And swallow these down, Butch. 17 to 18. Well, the research was slow, but I don't think it will be anymore. Ooh! Their boots will appear in future colonies called Butch's Curiosity. I don't think I want Butch's stinky boots. Up to level 21, thinking. That'll help. And then Chatting, obviously got to go to Cringe himself, right? Takes him all the way up to level 19. Oh, this crew. Oh, this crew. They're all so good. Put lovely, thick, solid walnut gates on the front of this vault. Nobody's getting in unless they get past reception. Very dark reception. Let's put some lights in here. Throw a couple more gates down like that. And this is going to be like the super vault. God knows what we'll put in here. This is going to be... Oh, you know what we'll put in here? It's very obvious. Enormous... Where, where did I see them? Where did I see them? It was like uh, gold gold bars. Uh, maybe some of various. Shit. Where are they? I've seen them somewhere. Here. Large stack of gold bars. Five thousand treasure we need for that stacks of small bars and then what is that cash stacks how do you build that oh out of plunder oh that's funny as hell okay i'll put some of those down and then we should put another like metal mesh around that 
you know, to keep it double super safe. And I've played enough Payday to know that you don't just simply hack through one vault door. There's another two, and then your drill will break down 16 times on the way in. Now, this could take quite a while. This could take quite a long time. Oh, Jesus Christ. Don't mince your words about it, Gaza. Really? Well, let's see if we can free these people. Uh, they've, they've gone. They've gone. The one time I try and do an all right, uh, an all right thing, a slightly good thing, they're gone. Oh, well, that's good. They've built a pile of money. What does it do? Is it just... It's actually just a pile of money. It doesn't do anything. It's quite literally just a pile of money. <laughs> Pit levels of Pete Pirate Captain Bucko drink that shouldn't be possible. Probably, probably definitely should not be possible. I could spend that money on so much better stuff. Could reinvest back into the crew. We could give them more skill fruits. We could, we could upgrade their gear a bit more. I mean, there's not that much flexibility. We certainly do something with it. Probably invest into some more significant base defenses. That's true. Or, hear me out, we have an enormous stack of cash. Retrieve the gold from Cat's bot, Mr. Cringe. How much have we got? 1,700. Oh my God. You might sink the ship if we're not careful. We good? That's... There you are, 14. 14? Is that all? For that much gold? Wait, shut up a minute. I've got to test it. How, what, what, stop. How many advanced components have we got? Uh, four. Would you look at that? Bucko Drink needs a golden heart. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's so, oh, that's so lovely. That's so lovely. Because you know what? You are Sire, his wife. You asked Mr. Cringe, his best friend. You asked Bongwater, baby Bongwater, who was raised by Bucko. And they'll say, that Bucko drink, that Admiral Captain Pirate Lord Captain Samurai Bucko drink, he's got a heart of gold. Don't ask anyone at Cat's butt. They probably wouldn't, they probably wouldn't agree. He's got a heart of gold. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Shit. Um, right. Is that concerning? Should I be concerned about that? That seems concerning. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll, t I'll put the... I thought I'd crank the fuel up just to see how we got on in case we uh, build more servers. The answer is, don't do that. Do not do that again. Build complete make mechanical heart. Where is the mechanical heart? Eat more. Eat more is putting it on the shelf. There it is. Treasure mechanical heart. It's worth a small fortune because it's made of solid gold. Install mechanical heart. What an unnecessary and complex and dangerous surgery, all for vanity. Vanity that no one can even see. <laughs> you know what? It means if nothing else, Bucko always has that for his character. In the middle of Bucko somewhere is a beating heart of pure gold. And that, my friends, is the pirate lifestyle. Kapow. God, I was... <laughs> Part of me was like, I can't wait for this surgery to fail, but I'm glad that worked. Oh... Treasure mechanical heart. I ju it just seems so silly. It just feels a lot better than, than... I'm sure there is a mod that adds a golden heart. You know, golden heart gives a trade price and whatever. That's fine. But this feels better. Because it's a regular it's a regular bionic heart that we've stuffed full of gold. For no reason. No reason at all. Do we get stat benefits? Do we get abuse bonus? No, nothing. I'm telling you right now, it was a total waste of gold. It does nothing for us. And that is perfect in every way. It is vanity for vanity's sake. It is greed for the sake of greed. Because, my friends, that is the fucking pirate lifestyle. Shove that up your cannon hole. We're done. Thank you for joining me today in Bucko's Adventures. This has been... Uh, honestly, I, 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 I don't know really what else there is to do. Of course, we, we're kind of naturally drawing to the end of things here. Um, yeah, we're not, we're not going to just, like, sack things off tomorrow or anything like that. But we're very close to having converted uh, three of the four factions very, very quickly, too. If we do a little raiding with our, with our enormous fleet... That's going to take no time at all. There is, of course, some very, very key things left to do involving, of course, Bucko's cannon. As soon as we crack the steel, that's going to be something that I will be paying close attention to. Uh, but yeah, no, naturally, things are all coming together at the same time. All these well-laid plans are all finalizing at the same moment, and it couldn't have been any more perfect. Thank you to the executive producer, Tears, for allowing this series to exist in the first place. Thank you to Snathro, Jessica Smith, VV Heiter, Cryo121, Hacksaw, Hoaxor, Moira Valkyrie, Sergeant Nero, Ryan Duffy, Valkyrie, Chagagaski, Lee Zero, Kiavaka, Slippy Nips, Alvin Flang, 91 Gearhead, Anna Bombination, Fancy Singularity, Floor 1235, L Zilcho, Daffod NZ, Matman, Frogs and Pants, Tempest underscore Oxwrecker, and Noah as well for their support in making Bucko's heart solid gold. You've also made my gold. My shit. <laughs> Thank you as well to Bubonic Ghoul and Graymo for Fancy, Linus L, Carnal Grained, Evolution Monkey, 
Mahasvara, Savez, Ravenous Algo, Reeftopia, Fedor, Sam Harmon, Ed, formerly the Koopa Kunga, Peppy, and James Beaton. I need to clarify, with Ed, formerly the Koopa Kunga, okay, that's not me mispronouncing that one particular fruit that I cannot say, okay? That's actually their name, Koopa Kunga, spelled C-U-P-E-R-C-U-N-G-E-R. Last time I shouted that person out, everybody laughed at me. Oh, he still can't say it. I'm being framed. 